Hey, what's up guys? Jay Stingray back here again on the House of Horror. Uh, today I've got a review for a film called A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night from 2014, just recently released on a DVD and Blu-ray. It's actually on uh, Netflix now if you want to check it out on there. But uh, <clears throat> I've been kind of uh, reluctant to post a review for this film um, because I don't generally like to you know, talk, talk neg negatively about movies on here. That's... Uh, you know why I primarily don't do reviews of films I don't like, but uh, I didn't dislike this film at all. I want to say I think it's a good movie. It's a well-made movie, <clears throat> but um, I, I did have some problems with it. It, it, it. Some parts did rub me the wrong way, but uh, before I get into that, this is uh, this is a uh, this is billed as the first Iranian uh, vampire movie, and. Uh, it is uh, directed by Anna Lily Ampour, and uh, I'm going to spare you the pronunciations of the cast, but if you're interested, I'll, I'll post them down below. You can go check their names out, so I don't uh, butcher their names, but it's uh, written and directed by her, and uh, this is actually a, uh, the, it's a Persian language film, and it's actually, I, when I saw it, I thought it was filmed in Iran. Which I thought was kind of cool, you know, because I've never, I haven't really seen a whole lot of films from there. So I thought that was really interesting. But I, I come to find out that it was actually shot around California, a few different places in California, and uh, made to look like Iran. Um, but it is in uh, Persian, and uh, from <laughs> uh, I've read a few things, people saying the Persian's not very good. But, you know, I don't speak it, so I don't know. But uh, this film has two main points uh, that are that are going to keep it from going from, I mean, mainly from a lot of people liking the film because it's shot in black and white and it is subtitled. I'm not sure if there's a dub track available on, uh, on Netflix or not, but I watched uh, the Blu-ray with uh, subtitles, of course. I always recommend that with a foreign language film. Um, but it's... People hate subtitles. I mean, the you know mainstream hate subtitles, and people hate black and white movies. I know as a you know myself included when I was younger. You know, you kind of frown upon those. You think those are older movies, whatever. But obviously, this film did it for uh, you know artistic reasons, and uh, I just felt like it was kind of unnecessary. But anyway, I'll I'll, I'll save that for later. But um, this is a you know like I said a, a vampire film that is, uh, takes place in a, a fictional city called Bad City. This is in, uh, you know, presumably Iran somewhere. And um, it is, uh, there's a vampire running loose, uh, you know, murdering people at night. This, uh, you know, the, uh, the main character. She, uh, you know, killing people. And there's a big pit in this city with, uh, it's just like full of dead bodies. And they don't really... I mean, that doesn't really seem to be too big of a deal to a lot of people, which seemed odd to me. But, uh, yeah, anyway, and then there's the uh, the other uh, main character in the film, a uh, young man, uh, Arash, I believe, and that's also his, his actual real name. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correct either, but... Uh, He's a young man, you know, trying, you know, trying to make a living, you know, doing what young guys do. He, he got himself a nice car, you know, worked real hard to get it. And his dad has a really bad uh, drug problem. I believe it's a heroin he's addicted to. And, uh, you know, shooting heroin constantly, you know, just a, you know, brutal uh, drug addict. You know, can't go very long without his fix at all. And uh, his dad gets into some debt with the town uh, drug dealer. And the drug dealer comes to collect one day. And ends up taking his car, which is his like prized possession, you know, as you know, as you do when you're a young guy, you know, your car is where it's at. But um, and then uh, I don't really want to spoil anything here, but there's a bit of a romance between him and the uh, the vampire in the film. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'll just stop the plot there. I mean, you can basically imagine they, you know, there's a little bit of a love story going on and uh, th this film it just felt like it was trying too hard to be like artistic um, it, it felt like it was a little bit overboard uh, it, like I said it shot in black and white it felt like it was unnecessary to me some people like that it just I don't necessarily dislike it it didn't bother me at all it just felt like it was unnecessary um, because you know it was just a choice th that they made and um, there's lots of really lingering shots that 
I think really the the pacing is off in quite a few of the scenes. I think it it, it works really well in two or three of the early scenes, but it really gets uh, old when you're just waiting for like I mean sixty seconds like for some action to happen. It like it, it's not building tension anymore when you constantly use that over and over again. It uh, felt like it was a bit overdone, and it's just like you know it almost felt like a, a film school project to me in that okay let's get a long shot here let's get this shot this shot it was just a lot of just really typical uh, shots you would see in you know say an artistic type film nothing wrong with that at all it just it felt like it was a bit much to me just my personal opinion you know it's not a bad movie you guys can watch it and you know judge for yourself but it uh, I feel like if a you know professional editor got a hold of this and really trim down some of the some of the running time some of those uh, you know exceptionally long scenes I think it could really work better but uh, you know again that's just my personal opinion I, I felt like the pacing was off for the majority of the movie but um, you know other than that I, I think it was a pretty good flick it uh, I've seen it compared to let the right one in a lot I don't really understand why that comparison but um, I guess because it's a foreign vampire film but um, not nearly as good as let the right one in of course you know the uh, the original not the uh, the American remake but uh, not not nearly as good of a film as that, in my opinion. It, it's not going to uh, stand the test of time at all. But, uh, you know, check it out for, for a watch. You know, you, you got it on Netflix to check it out for their own, you know, for free. So watch it there. And uh, please, if you have opinions about this, let me know because I'd be interested to see what others have to say about this film. But um, I know the subtitles and the... Uh, uh, black and white is going to instantly turn the majority of people off right there. Um, just because I know how people are, I, I see a lot of comments around, and uh, you know, I, you know, I get shit all the time for watching films with subtitles. I didn't, I didn't get this movie to read. That's what you always hear. I used to get that a lot when I uh, worked in the movie theater. You know, we used to get a lot of refunds for people that you know, if it was a foreign film that had uh, subtitles, they, they didn't, you know, they didn't, they didn't pay to read. So. Uh, Anyway, check it out, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and let me know what you think. Peace.